Hey guys, this is B. I ride full time in my chariot. <laughs> I ride full time in my chariot. I like that. That's my new intro. And uh, I'm sorry, I had to cut out early last night. My lips are all ashy. I had to cut out early last night because I was so exhausted. Didn't even get to show y'all what I cooked because it. I was watching for scorpions and wild animals and stuff, so I just didn't have time for it. I play a little music, cook me something up, and then I just got everything cleaned up back here, so it's all clean pretty much. It's in drive mode, so it looks a little bit consolidated, but it's pretty clean, and I was exhausted. So I went to sleep. It's now 9 in the morning. I'm going to be driving 8 hours today because I'm trying to cancel one day. It was supposed to be 4... It's supposed to be four days of driving, and I'm trying to get it down to three because I want to show soul to this person. I have to show the trailer to this person who's interested in buying it before I go see my little sister, Sammy. And if she doesn't buy it, then I'll have my home, and I'll finish it up for the rest of the summer till well till August. And if she does buy it, then I'll be a little bit sad, but I'll have more savings to be able to take with me to our secret location. I'm not going to tell you yet. So still, you know, just throwing that one up to God because God knows what I need most. Um, I'm kind of hoping she doesn't want it, but I'm also kind of hoping she does because it will really help me in this move that I'm doing. So we shall see. Fingers crossed. I'm excited about it. I'm learning how to uh, give stuff up to God knowingly like consciously not subconsciously but really just giving it up um, and knowing whatever path that I'm given is is mine so working on that definitely working on that on this trip I love driving these long trips because it's like you're in prayer like you're f so focused on the road I have auto drive so I just be cruising and just praying um, and thanking God so it's a beautiful place I'm still here oh I'm still here at the little um, rest stop, but I am going to start hitting the road now. I just brushed my teeth, washed my face, went to the bathroom, took my vitamins. So it's time. And I'm very excited to go to our next location. So I drove, like I told y'all last night, I drove past, uh, where was I going? Flagstaff. I drove past Flagstaff into New Mexico. So I'm already in New Mexico, but New Mexico is a lot bigger than you think it would be. Um, especially wide wise, like width wise, you would think it wouldn't be that long, but of course, length wise, you'd think it would, if that makes sense. But width wise, it's pretty long to go through, not as long as Texas. And luckily, I get to miss Texas, but it's still pretty long. So I'm going to go about, I think it's about three and a half hours to Albuquerque. That's where I'm going to get my coffee for the day. It'll be around two. And then I'm going to do four more hours. And go all the way to Oklahoma City. Because I feel like once I get to Oklahoma City, I could probably make it to Nashville. And if I can't, I can at least make it to Memphis tomorrow. And that's what the goal would be. So I can be there hopefully by Thursday. So today's Wednesday. So cross your fingers for me. And that's right.
guy. I don't even know where the hell we are. Oh, look at this. What the hell bird is that? That's a bird. I wish I could flip it around so you could see, but even if you could, you still couldn't see how much, because remember, I don't know how to use the zoom, right? Would you? You would have to be here to see it. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm gonna turn this around. But this is where I'm gonna be at tonight. Um, the drive took a while. I did four hours and I got some coffee and I did four more hours. So I am, again, pretty tired. And I've just been thinking a lot again. Like I said, it's a lot of time just kind of chilling with yourself. So I've been really just thinking a lot, uh, spending a lot of time in reflection. much on gas i thought it would be more on gas i think i filled my tank up now total um four full times i have been filling it up at half a tank because i'm like going through areas that have a long time before the next gas station so i fill it up at half a tank but technically it's only been four full tanks so that's not that bad going from california all the way to i feel like we're uh either in tip of texas or we're in new mexico it was amarillo so we're in texas so we're now in texas um i can feel that we're getting closer to tennessee because of the weather it just feels more dense um the plant life is a lot more watered it's not as dry um it's really beautiful and it's just like rolling hills so this is a very very beautiful part of texas i did not come through here when i went through last time I come through this way this is really really beautiful but yeah guys so uh it's right now it's like eight so i'm about to probably sit out here for a little bit write a little bit and then go into the van and lay down because i am exhausted so i hope that you all enjoyed the views i think i got a lot of really cool colors in there so i'm excited for y'all to see that leave a comment below and let me know what you think about the colors i was supposed to do part six of the van series uh, the van talk series i was supposed to do that yesterday but i was too tired and I'm, so that means i was supposed to do it today but i think i'm just gonna do it when i get to a spot because i'm tired and i don't want to do it right now you know what I mean? I just drove literally eight hours. So I'm going to just lay down and chill and I will hop back on tomorrow and see how far we can go. We're going to see if we're going to either Oklahoma City or Memphis. So we will see how far we can get and I will keep you updated. So let's check out this view again because the sun is starting to set even more and it looks super, super beautiful. Thanks y'all for watching. I'm really bad at ending these things. So I'll talk to you later.
granny. Hi, granny. Look at her. Let's get in it.